Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chrissy and this is Chrissy Talks. I just recently changed my channel name because I feel like it suits my channel better because um, I'm not always talking about life situations. Sometimes it's just Chrissy situations. So I figured Chrissy Talks um, fits a little bit better. But anyways, today I had my 25 week, no, 29 week prenatal checkup. And oh, I can only go this way. And um, I thought this one was a little more interesting than the others because I had her comment on my weight gain. So at all my other visits, I've brought up my weight gain because it was it's so it's so excessive. Um, I've gained a lot of weight since I've been pregnant and very fast. So I've always wanted to check in with the doctor just to make sure that like something isn't wrong with me. And, and every visit other than this one, they've pretty much told me like it's okay. You know, 30 pounds is okay to gain. <coughs> Excuse me. 30 pounds is okay to gain when you're pregnant. But um, that's it. Like, they didn't want me to go over 30. So, I think I'm getting close. I, I might be already over the 30 pound mark. So, um, this morning, as soon as she checked into the computer, I'm, like, sitting right there. And I noticed that she... I noticed that on the screen, it said excessive weight gain. So, I don't know if... Um, they put that in the computer because I've mentioned it or I don't know if they just recently put that in the computer because they're off they're seeing how excessive my weight gain has been so that kind of caught me off guard even though I already knew you know what I'm saying that I have gained a lot of weight just for it to say it on the screen I was kind of like dang so she told me she's like okay so like it was the end of the visit was cut was like the visit was coming to an end and she was like so can we talk about your eating habits like your diet like what's going on with that she was like is there something you're eating more of like are you a sweets girl like soda like what is it <clears throat> and I was like, um, well, I'm Puerto Rican, so I eat a lot of rice and beans and potatoes and fried pork chops. Like, I couldn't even lie to her because you're gaining weight from eating something, right? So she's like, what is it? So I told her, and she's like, okay, so if you're, what is it, white bread? And I was like, white bread. And she was like, okay, so instead of white bread, eat the whole wheat bread. She's like, I know it's a taste different. But just do it, and I promise you'll see a difference. She's like, instead of white rice, do the um, brown rice. She was like, I know it tastes different, but I promise you'll see a difference. And she's like, fried food, try to cut it out as much as possible, and um, no juices. Like, juices have no nutrients. There's no reason for you to be drinking them. Just drink as much water as you can. She was like, and if you follow those things, I promise you'll see a difference. So, unfortunately, I don't want to because I love white rice. I love white bread. And um, I love juice. So, I'm like, okay. But I don't want to keep gaining this much weight, so I'm going to give it a try. It's going to be a little different because my husband and my daughter don't eat those things. So I don't know how they're going to take it. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut out rice. Maybe I just won't eat. You know, Maybe I'll still cook them the rice and beans or whatever, and I just won't eat it. Maybe I'll just eat something else. So... That's like that stuck out this this prenatal visit. The other ones have been kind of boring, um, except for my last one where uh, we talked about birth control. So that's what I wanted. To, I've been wanting to talk to y'all about birth control, but um, I just haven't had the time to sit down and film a video. But my mom's watching baby today, so I have a little bit of free time to um, film in the car. So I hope you guys can hear me too. Um, I really hope y'all can hear me. So anyways, my last...
last visit, which was my 25 week, it was like right before my 25 weeks, <clears throat> I sat down with my nurse nurse practitioner because my regular OB was on vacation or something. And I asked her about birth control and she was like, it's still kind of early for you to be concerned with birth control. But I was like, it's never too early. Like, I've never been on birth control before, though. So I um, I just wanted to talk about it because I've never been on it before. So I was a little intrigued, interested. I know I have to get on some kind of contraceptive after this baby because we don't want to have another baby as of now. Um, and I want to be responsible. So... Um, that's pretty much all we talked about at the 25, um, at the 25 week visit. Um, she asked me if I wanted to breastfeed. I told her yes for as long as I can. So she said, all right, then you only have like three choices as far as what birth control you can take. So I believe it was the, uh, shot. No, no, no the pill the naproxen naproxen the implant the pill or the IUD not the copper IUD just the marina regular IUD so I know I knew right off the bat that I did not want the implant and I also knew that I and I don't want the implant just because I'm not for an implant being in my body um and the pill uh the regimen I'm not really a fan of the everyday same time thing um only because you never know what can happen and I don't want to skip and then you know how that goes so and 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 um weight gain is associated with the pill as well so I knew I wanted to stay far away from that and uh Okay, so the IUD was like my only choice. So I, I was asking her about, you know, well, tell me everything about the IUD that you can. Luckily, she has been on the same Marina IUD before. Um, so she had a lot of information to give me. She's actually the one, the practitioner, she said that she couldn't put it in for me if I wanted her to instead of my OB because she was like, I, I have... She, me and her have the same OB. She sees my OB as well. So she's like, you know, your doctor has put mine in for me before. And she does a great job. She was like, she doesn't do ultrasound after she implants it. So she was like, but I do. She said, I do because I want to make sure that I've positioned it correctly and that it's sitting exactly where it needs to be so I was like okay well I think I might want you to do it you know just for that little extra layer of comfort so she's like okay that's fine so she said that it's implanted inside of my uterus and it has two strings that hang I'm sure you guys have heard about this a lot before and in other videos or if you've had it or if, if you've inquired about it but it's pretty much just inserted just like they do a pap smear they put a certain tool in you they locate the spot they then they put the IUD inside of you they have the strings that hang you need to get gas they have the strings that hang and they clip the strings to a certain length to where you don't feel them your partner doesn't feel them but they're still easily locatable they can easily be located by the doctor for when they need to remove it so she also said that you don't get a period or you're not supposed to get a period for five years. Now, when she said that, I was kind of taken back because as far as I know, us as women, we need to get a period. But I know that the birth control regulates. Some of them regulate your period. Some of them don't. Some of you don't get a period. Some of them you do. Like, it's just so confusing to me because I've, I've never wanted to mess with Mother Nature like, I've never been on birth control before, so it's kind of just crazy that I'm not going to get a period, like, on purpose, like, so 
then when I told my husband that I wasn't gonna get my period, he was like, that doesn't sound right. Um, you're a woman, you're supposed to get a period. Like, doesn't that clean out your system? And he's like, what are you gonna be backed up with like pounds of blood? Like, I don't think it really made sense to him. But I believe when she explained it to me, she said that it, um, you don't build up the lining in your uterus. When your body will naturally build up a lining inside your uterus every month, and that lining sheds. And when that lining sheds, that's what causes a menstrual. That's your menstrual cycle. The bleeding is the shedding of the lining in the uterus. So she said that the birth control um, doesn't let that building of lining happen. So there's nothing to shed. So I mean, it, it sounds not right to me but I guess that's how it's that's the birth control like doesn't build up the lining so you don't get pregnant so I don't know some videos that I've watched on here have said that they were on the I the marina and they got pregnant so I don't really I don't really know all I know is that I don't want another baby right now and I need to practice some kind of responsibility and some kind of contraceptive that will not allow that to happen so thinking the marina is gonna be the deal I'm not sure I'm still praying about it I'm still thinking about it and um, hopefully I can come to a really good decision um, soon because whatever birth control I get has to be done 30 days after we have the baby so I'm due April 10th it's coming up very fast and um, yeah that's pretty much it. My weight gain, my excessive weight gain, y'all, that shit has, excuse me, that has me so bothered. But, like, literally every night before I go to sleep, I'm thinking about my diet and what I'm going to do after the baby. Like, I guess I'm just using this time right now to just be lazy and eat, which is terrible because I'm going to have to work so hard after the baby to lose all this damn weight. <clears throat> when I told my husband that she said that I'm gaining excessive weight, he was like, how? And I'm like, what do you mean how? Look at me. That's, you eat, you gain weight. And he's like, how though? Like, how is it excessive? I'm like, look at me. This is excessive. What do you mean how is it? When you don't look like yourself anymore, it's excessive weight gain. He's so crazy. Sometimes he talks crap about me. And then sometimes he, like, defends my weight gain. It's so funny. I don't know. He's just crazy. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the birth control I wanted to talk to y'all about. And the weight gain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all. My thing just fell. That's pretty much it. So, um, I'll see you guys, what, tomorrow? Maybe the next day. <laughs> Ghetto 